Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I will be trying out a recipe that I saw on TikTok and letting you know if I think it is worth making again. So let's get into this. So I don't know about you, but I love me a good caramel apple. However, it is always a bummer when you eat around the apple and get all that sweetness out of the way and then you are just left with the tart apple. So today we are going to be making caramel apple bark, essentially getting the best bite every time. To make this, you will need chocolate of your choice, craft caramel bits, I got mine from Target, any toppings that you like on a caramel apple, I kept it simple with just some sprinkles, and a few Granny Smith apples. I ended up using only three. I began by cutting up the apples in little cubes, probably about a centimeter long, I found that three apples was just enough to cover the sheet pan that I was using, so I stopped cutting after three. Next, I scattered some of the sprinkles on my silicone mat for a decorative backside. However, after seeing the final product, I think this step was unnecessary. If you don't have a silicone mat, feel free to use parchment paper, that should work out just fine. Then it was time to melt the chocolate. I measured out two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips into a saucepan and heated them over medium heat until they were almost all melted. Then I turned off the heat and continued to stir the chocolate until everything had melted. Next, I poured the chocolate over the sprinkles on the silicone mat and smoothed it out. At this point, you could add whatever toppings you would normally like on a caramel apple. You could add nuts, pretzels, Oreos, really whatever you like. I just added some more sprinkles. Once that was done, I pressed the apples into the chocolate. However, on TikTok, the person mixed the apples with the caramel first. If you are adding more than just sprinkles to the chocolate, it might be a better idea to mix the apples and the caramel together before adding it to the pan of chocolate and toppings. But in my case, once the apples were all spread out and pressed into the chocolate and sprinkles, I prepared the caramel bits according to the package by adding two tablespoons of water to the entire package of caramel bits and cooking it over medium low heat until everything was melted and well combined. Then I poured the caramel over the apples and topped it off with even more sprinkles. I stopped here, but if you wanted, you could melt some more chocolate and put it on top. Finally, I refrigerated the dessert for an hour and broke up the bark into approximately three inch squares. I would definitely recommend making and eating this within a short period of time. I think that the moisture in the apples begins to dissolve the caramel more and more as more time elapses. There was a little bit of caramel liquid in the pan after an hour in the fridge and a whole lot more the next day. As the caramel dissolves, there is less remaining on the apple bark bites. But despite this disappointing side effect of this treat, it did taste absolutely delicious and really resembled the best bites of a standard caramel apple. I can definitely see making this again, but like I mentioned before, I would only make it the day I planned on serving it so that the caramel wouldn't dissolve. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on giving this a try, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you stick around, and I will catch you in the next one.
to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.